All right, peeps, back. And I want to show you my pouring medium. It's been a while since I've shown you my pouring medium. And this actually looks a little bit on the thin side than normal, but I'm actually gonna mix my heavy body paint in here, well, medium body paint, and it's gonna give me the nice body that my paint needs. Welcome to the Feel Good Painting Station. This is Garrett Brown. I hope you are feeling good because you're looking good, baby. This is the Earth Day collab. And the theme is vitamin C. It's nothing like the ocean, baby. So today I decided to go after coral. I was being a bit of a geek on NASA's website. And a picture of coral popped up and I said, this is what I'm going to use for my collab. I'm going to emulate coral the best way that I can. So we're going to jump right in and get started. There are some amazing artists in this lineup. I will list them below and talk about them a little bit here and there throughout the video. And because we're talking about the beach and the ocean, I put some waves in my head just for y'all. <laughs> So today we have one part of our deep base 8300 bear. This is our high enamel gloss, as you can see. One part, two to one half part Joe Sonia gloss to one fourth part water. So in the to make it easier, think. That would be four tablespoons to two tablespoons to one tablespoon. That has gotten me this consistency here. And we're gonna add our paint. Now I'm not measuring this, but we're doing three to one. This is my Amsterdam Oxide Black because I'm out. All right, might need just a little bit more. I'm gonna mix it up to see. I get these lovely mixing spoons from the Fluid Art Co. Love them, great company. And you can see my paint has really thickened up. It's too thick, actually. So I'm going to add another part of water. And now we got a good runny consistency. And we're off to the races. Today I'm stepping out of my comfort zone with a two color cell activator and we're not going to use white. Yes, I know I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and my all-knowing ways um so this is three to one ratio the colors that i used are copper by dick blick mixed with some harvest of gold by tlp so three parts australian flow troll to one part paint with just a little bit of the tlp for the shimmer and to bring more color to that copper my black ca is the same thing just a three to one ratio. Now I mixed it, mixed this up yesterday and let it sit out overnight. So it's like a tad thicker than the copper, but you know what? We're going to go with it. Going to put some of our pillow down. I'm back on my Glendon Essentials as usual.
This is my test towel and I'm really liking the results. So I'm hoping that we will, gonna just, we will get the same. So I kind of messed it up here because I was supposed to put the blue, the iridescent blue black and the uh, turquoise teal color down and then just use black as my cell activator. So I'm just gonna go with it and we'll see what happens camera was paused but this is my cell activator the two colors in the middle all right just trying to move that paint around the center So I didn't want to completely get rid of this because I saw potential, but this looks nothing like coral. I mean, it's way too much black. The black is overpowering everything. But I will say that this came out pretty cool if I do say so myself. Now, I know y'all are like to skip ahead, but I promise you this next bloom coming up is going to be fire like it really looks like coral, coral in my opinion but i still want you to watch this one too so don't fast forward just yet but yeah i do like to play on the colors because when i think of the ocean like where i live the ocean is kind of brownish because of all the sediment that comes from up north but when i go on a cruise and i see that beautiful teal ocean blue that's what i think about so I think teal was the perfect color for the ocean and you're gonna really see a difference in the next balloon. But for now, look at that center. That center is freaking dope. And it kind of reminds me of like, um, you know like when you go somewhere and you see like moss or mold growing and it's like a weird wild color and it's creepy. That's kind of what the center reminds me of. <laughs> but that's not the ocean, so. We're going to scrap this one and try it again. I'll definitely use a lot less black um, in the next in the next piece because I want the black to serve as contrast for the coral to like really make it pop. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to achieve that. All right, so we are trying this again, round two. And this time, I'm actually layering the colors in the way I intended on doing them. So, you see that we have some of that blue-black um, over that uh, nice teal color. Because I still want to get some of that deep blueness of the ocean. But I don't want it to be, like, super blue. Because that's not the ocean that I really like. Like I said, I go on the cruises. I like that beautiful teal and white beaches. <laughs> so, as you can see, the black plays a perfect touch as we start to make our coral. The cells represent like the, the holes and the rivets in the coral that look so pretty. Like when you see somebody going uh, scuba diving on television or whatever, and you see those really exotic colors, that's what this reminds me of. So I'm like 
over the moon that these cells are forming the way that they are. Look at that, just oddly satisfying. <laughs> And right here, I kind of had spread my paint out a bit too far. So I had to change my attachment um, so that I could get more of a concentrated blow to blow this part out because I did not want to scrape this piece. The cells everywhere else were just freaking gorgeous and I was determined to move that paint. And I moved it. I lost a few cells in the process, but you can see some came back. Um, and that's one hard thing when you have something really pretty you don't want to lose any of the cells But sometimes you have to sacrifice a few cells to get a few more cells <laughs> And here my paint is super thick so When I scraped the paint I used it as a base coat and I added a little bit of white on top and it's kind of thickening up because this house paint and house paint is not really intended to do but what we're doing it. So I had to spread out this paint so that I knew that it would be able to move and I really didn't know if it was going to move. I was praying that it was going to move and we're going to see if it moved. <laughs> But check out those colors. That gold is like playing so well on that teal. And like, I'm just like really over the moon. And you can see my paint is moving and it's stretching that teal out and, and uh, bringing out some more of the white. And I love that contrast. Um, it's that that's the the ocean waves crashing against the shore and give you you know that pretty white uh, foam along the sand and so I'm just I'm just getting all the vibes with this piece right now I'm done. This is freaking gorgeous. I'm just gonna worry about this one part. And that's it. Sometimes you have to know when you hold them and you gotta know when to fold them. <laughs> So I made 
too much paint i got really happy and i just kept going and going because my paint was perfect so i mixed up some more even after this um, i'm just showing you another one that i did i did like really like five more but i don't think you wanted to see the same thing over and over again however i still had a lot of paint left so what i did was i added some uh, american floatrol to my mixes and I decided to do a swipe. So I cannot tell you the recipe. However, I will tell you that it started off the paint that we just used, the recipe that you saw at the beginning of the video. I just added some American Flow Troll for Flow and we have a swipe. So these are my colors, um, same ones. I had leftover blue, so I added some of that. And here is the canvas round that we're gonna be painting on. That mat that you saw is by the Fluid Art Co. I love, love, love my pouring mat so much. It fits perfectly on my spinner. And here, I am just making some additional um, cell activator. I ran out. Um, this is actually the day after um, I shot the painting that you just saw. I cleaned off my table and was messing around. And I decided to do a swipe. So, a uh, three to one ratio on my Australian Flow Troll and Paint. That is Deep Turquoise by Master's Touch that you're looking at. And the white is Amsterdam Titanium White. And you can see the consistency there. So I'm just having fun. You know, the vibes were good because I just made these amazing paintings yesterday. So I'm just letting it all flow. And I am pouring down that iridescent blue black by Pebio. And of course my other colors that we used earlier. And if you made it this far in my video, whoo! You must really be enjoying it because people be clicking off these videos quick, but I really, truly appreciate it. Um, I can't say thank you enough. The kind words that you all say in the comments and I just love hearing from you all. Sometimes you tell me I make your day, but you all don't know how much you make my day. Um, anytime, you know, I'm down or we all go through different things. It's really nice. Um, to see, you know, nice comments and people being just genuinely good people. And we need it in this world so, so much. We need it so much. But here is some gold. So this is the gold that I made with the cell activator earlier. And then I just added paint to keep that same color and flow troll. So I literally am just pouring what I had. And this last color is um, titanium white. I just added some titanium white. Um, and I had some uh, titanium buff, which is like an off-white. And that's the color I got with some Floetrol. Okay, I just put down that rose quartz from this little piggy and I am now going to add that leftover blue I told you about. It was just sitting in the wings for another project and I said, why not? Uh, which was perfect. And we're just going to kind of move the paint around a bit. Uh, cover some of the edges before we do our swipe and 
as you can see, I love that rose quartz because it kind of plays like a little bit of white. So when it dries, it will dry more clear, but it really just adds a nice shimmer and like a play on the colors and the light. So it won't be so white, but you'll see as we go through the swipe how it really adds a nice layer of depth to this piece. All right, so we are getting ready to add our cell activator and a lot of people do beach swipes differently and I like to do more swipes instead of one big swipe because I want to blend my cell activator. So I start out with mostly deep turquoise and I add a little white and as, you, as I go, you'll see I start incorporating more white. Um, and you'll see the last swipe I add just a little bit of turquoise and it is the perfect balance It's a little ocean on the beach, but not too much and it just gives the perfect effect I cannot wait for you to see it So we just did that first swipe and it doesn't look like a lot of reaction, but it actually popped like it took a while, but it was perfect. It's very subtle and the ocean is subtle. You know, the gradient changes are subtle. So just keep watching, I'm a, I'm a hush. <laughs> Okay, look at this wipe right here, y'all. So I was intentional about not messing up that brown right at the top, and we just extended on to that shoreline, and that little bit of turquoise, oh my goodness, like, it just made the piece come together. So it's like a little bit of the ocean coming onto the beach, and look at those cells as they develop. So the cells are developing here and I'm getting ready to spin. Look at my tool, all those gorgeous cells left. And I just love, I like to do those little swipes across in color um, because it extends and blends those colors together. And this spin is just gonna bring it all together like boom. Look at this y'all. Had to add a little magic, a little flash, a little bang, a little choo-choo train. But look, look at that beach. OMG. Look at that shoreline. Look at the beach and the ocean and the scarf in the distance. I'm just in love. Big shout out to Nate Bright. Oh, Thank you for inviting me to this wonderful collab. All these amazing artists. We have Sarah Mack. We have... Uh, the Massey Boys, we have Karen, uh, we have Brian, we just have so many amazing artists and I hope you check out each and every one of them. I will list their videos in the description here. I'm giving you kind of a final look per se. I love the little bits of white that are left. That's my clouds. And then look at my lovely beach. Ugh. If I could make this a reality, I would just jump right into this ocean. And I am on Patreon. Um, the details are below. It is a way that you can help artists like myself. 
So, um, you know, check it out. The details are down there and I have some amazing exclusive content there and much, much more to come along with uh, quarterly little grabs and things that I send you in the mail. But it's almost time. It's almost time to end this video. Check me out. I was on Meet Your Maker Showdown. Um, the information is below. But most importantly, remember, family, do everything with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.